I was walking around for two days thinking I was Picasso. <laughs> really what I was. I was a major jackass. <laughs> I went to the store out on Long Island. Michaels. I spent a couple hundred bucks on supplies. I was so serious about it. Bought three large canvases, brushes, paints, paint cleaners, spray paint, and markers. Don't ask me why, but markers. I went out to the bookstore. Bought a few $50 books on Basquiat and pop art. I was doing all this reading and researching. I actually began feeling like I had a calling. I set up shop in my backyard right against this big, beautiful tree. I tore open the paints and squeezed out red and yellow paint into my palette. I dipped one of my brushes into my palette. I look up and into my canvas and it hits me. I asked myself as I stared at this large white canvas, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> it was like a spell had been broken. I felt silly. I started looking around into the neighbor's windows because I felt like I was being watched. Sure enough, there she was, this little girl named Megan, peering at me through her second floor story bedroom window. <laughs> she had the look of disgust written across her face. <laughs> so, it's kind of, I don't know, not feeling adequate in front of this child, I decided to prove to her that I could paint. <laughs> it was as if I needed this child's approval. Don't ask me why. Maybe I'm crazy, but I did. I wanted this kid to say, Good job, Joe. You're a fucking Picasso, all right. <laughs>